Allow me to introduce you to the most unusual trans-neoclaridane diterpene found in nature. Its origins are obscure, its natural distribution controversial. The effects of smoked salvia extracts are dramatic. Immediate onset, short duration, and a complete loss of connection to consensus reality. And starting in 2005, a video hosting service called YouTube made it possible to share these once private experiences with the entire world. The videos were like nothing I'd ever seen. They were riveting and hilarious. But few users seemed to enjoy the experience, and most tried it only once. However, one person built an empire. Hello, and welcome to Gardening on Salvia. I'm Eric, your host. With nothing more than a video camera, a bong, and a bag of 20x salvia extract. <laughs> I couldn't think of any person who loved salvia just because of the weirdness of doing it. Hello, and welcome to Driving on Salvia. I'm Eric, your host. You're gonna hold it in for about 20 seconds or until your vision begins to vibrate. How did you first find out about salvia? My friends went out and bought some and tried it, came over and they were like, Eric, this stuff is hilarious. And we watched a couple of YouTube videos. And I was like, this is what it does to people? They're like, yeah, try it. And I was like, all right. And so I smoked it in the living room over there and like just kind of faded out. It's like you trapped inside of a kaleidoscope mm -hmm. feeling a little bit. You can lose any sense of reality while you're on it. The joke is that you can't get anything done on this ever. And it's just like a, a how-to video and you just take a hit of salvia beforehand every time. First step one is we're gonna smoke our salvia. Would you say that you were having a spiritual experience during those videos? Oh yeah, definitely. It's definitely a spiritual experience, but it was like a battle every time I smoked it. I don't like losing control, and that's exactly what salvia is. It just takes over, you're just like uncomfortable, but also very funny, so it's completely worth making videos of. What began as a simple household gag went viral, and for Eric, there was no turning back. <laughs> For some reason, it connects with a lot of people. News coverage, such as this segment on ABC's Nightline, then type in the word salvia, sensationalized a drug that most users found unpleasant and few had tried more than once. Out of their minds. Their scare stories served to incite a moral panic about salvia's perceived dangers. Miley Cyrus allegedly tried it. Everything changed in 2010, when Miley Cyrus was recorded smoking a salvia extract and mistook Friday Night Lights actor Gray Damon for her at the time ex-boyfriend, but future fiance, Liam Hemsworth. Officials were quick to condemn it and cited videos such as those by Salvia Eric as evidence of the drug's abuse. Excuse me, I have to go to space now. The access that folks have to this drug is very uh, disconcerting. I was blown away when I saw my comedy drug video with a cat in it getting played in front of a room full of legislators. Uh, a little cat jumps up on the front of the car. They don't know how to handle it. He sees monsters there. They passed his bill in 2011, despite the fact that it has probably some medical use. Do you feel any personal responsibility? I just, I want to say no, because I'd like to think that anyone should be able to make fun of anything. Now I'm not quite so sure because it seemed to just have gotten it into a whole hell of a lot of trouble. 